day I'm going to show you how to mirror your iPad or um, iPhone um, 4S or later to the Apple TV. Um, I know the microphone's not the best and the pictures, the video isn't that clear. Well, it might not be very clear. Um, just I'm recording on the PlayStation I and my I trust microphone. Um, so using the remote first, go and I, I know the colours don't show up very well. Anyway, go over to settings. I'll just say it as they go along. Then airplay. And then put airplane on. Put a password if you want. Uh, just make sure that's you know, like ticked. Uh, and then you go over to your iOS device and then you double tap the home button, slide across, I know the cores are quite big. And yep, it's just came up now, uh, you can just go back and the front. But um, the little airplane icon will appear, so just click on your Apple TV. Uh, that will just play sound, but if you want me to show you screen of what you're doing, click mirroring on, and then I've got like what I do. It is a bit laggy, but like I've scrolled across already, yeah, and it can be a bit, bit glitchy. I used that in the previous video, and um, yeah, it's just a pretty basic feature. Uh, you can do it with music as well. I'm not going to demonstrate. Um, my iPhone 4 is only able to use um, music mirroring because it doesn't have the well it's only you can only use music on airplay or some sound but because it doesn't have the airplay feature anyway so yeah that's that um another thing is that on the iOS um, I am back YouTube. Um, another thing um, is if you want to put your uh, computer screen, um, Mac or PC, onto the Apple TV, then go up. Well, um, first of all, go to the website, it'll be in the description. Uh, if there's a bit of lag in the camera, well PlayStation I then it's most likely to be because um I've got it fully zoomed in and it's mainly designed for the PlayStation. It's just um yeah go to um I think it's airparrot.com yeah and then um, click on uh, wait a second. Well, you can buy it if you want, but just click download and then install it. Um, yeah, once you've installed it, search it in Mac or just type it in there. Or if you've got it on the desktop, then that's fine as well. But um, type in air parrot click enter so it's loading up I don't have I haven't bought it so I've got 20 minutes free it's opened it up down there so if I right click click Apple TV I'll send my password Screen my laptop, it's very well, it's quite laggy, I suppose. And if you go to record with sound, well, if you put sound on, then it'll be a little bit worse. Uh, the sound will sound very good, I mean, but yeah, it's just a useful thing. And you just click um, Apple TV to get it. Uh, oh, you untick it. 
and you can change how it fits. Oops, let's put that on my laptop. And then show preferences. Where's that loading from the Apple TV? Anyway, that's made it work, I suppose. And um, yeah, now, as I was saying, it does make it lag a bit but adjust it to your screen so that you can see it the best I mean that's not fitting so I'll change it the under scan up or is it down I think it's anyway just adjust it to how you want Anyway, I can't get it to change it for some reason. I don't know why. Anyway, um, now, um, what's it? Um, yeah, it's a bit laggy, but apart from that, it's fine. Um, those are just a few airplay, um features that I found out that you can do. Um, anyway, apart from that, um, I think that's basically it. Uh, thanks for watching YouTube. Um, comment, like, rate and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.